in the movie, yes. In the movie, no, but I, you know, I did, I did 15 films, and I died in nine. I did a movie called Dillinger. If you ever get a chance to see the one with Warren Oates, Michelle Phillips, Richard Dreyfuss, I think my death scene surpasses quite a few death scenes in motion picture history. So how, does film. how does it feel to see yourself dying in the movie? You know, it's strange. People ask me questions. How do you feel? Even to feel that I was poor. I don't even think of me as poor. I'm a person just like this young lady or you or anyone else. But doing the movie that I became that character, it's truly amazing that when I see it, I say, wow, that's me. That famous guy, I, I don't think of it as me. I just know that became Paul. And he's a legend. And so is Pacino. In fact, I keep in touch with Al Pacino. And also with Robert Duvall, James Conn. We keep it, there's only a few of us left. You know, in fact, I'll tell you a quick story about Al Pacino. I was doing Scarface, and I was living in California. Frank Pacino didn't like California. So John, hey, hey, I'm part of my friends, I was going to crash, but he didn't like the effort place, you know? So he called me up when he was doing Scarface at University. Mm -hmm. He says, John, he said, I'm in California. He says, why don't you come and have lunch with me? He says, I go. We're having lunch. Jesus, John, so good to see you, you know? He says, how do you live here? The traffic. He says, I don't like this place. Make a long story short, he says, John, listen. My mother died when I was 19. If my grandmother raised me, and he says, you could call her up, I'll give you a number, tell her that you're Johnny Martino, and she'll tell you who you played in the film. So I call this woman up, she says, call her Kathy, she wants to be called Kathy, nicely. I call her up, Kathy, Johnny Martino, Johnny Martino, wait a minute, one minute, one minute. Oh my God, one second, you were poorly in the Godfather. I said, yes I was. She says, Johnny, I got some questions. Why did my son win an Oscar for The Godfather, Dog Day Afternoon, and Surgical? I said, well, Kathy, you know, he's just starting out at that point. But I said, you know what, he's such a great actor, but he will win eventually. He's a great story. Mm -hmm. Make a long story short. Turns around, he does a scent of a woman. Nominated. I find I'm in New York visiting. He's shooting Carlito's Way in New York City. I go to Manhattan. He's in a trailer, outside the trailer. It's about three in the morning. I want to see my buddy. There was a security guard outside. I said, do me a favor, knock on the door and tell Al Pacino Johnny Martino. He goes, no, I can't do that. He's bringing me up at home. I can't bother him. He's probably sleeping. I said, want me to knock on the door. I knock on the door. And Al says, yeah, who the fuck is it? It's Al. It's Johnny Martino. Johnny, holy shit. He got up. He hugged me with kissing and everything. Wait. His grandmother had died three months before the one. So I says to Al, I have two things I want to tell you. One, congratulations, you won the Oscar. I'm so proud, I'm so happy to find one. And I'm sorry about grandma. He started to cry. It made me cry. Anyway, we hugged and everything. In fact, I got a picture I could show you. I think I might have. But he finally won his Oscar. And from that time on, him and I were best of friends. Always. Every time we see each other, we just stay best of friends. And I was one of the nicest people. Mm -hmm. He helps people like you wouldn't believe financially and everybody else. You don't like people to know that, but I'll say it. Because I can't. He, he doesn't want to say it. But I'll speak. I mean, I love everybody in the world. There's only a handful left of the Godfather. And listen, I just want to say thank you so much for doing this interview. I've done quite a few. This is really special. Thank special, you. Beautiful. Jessica, could we uh, have you over there and have a picture of you also?